Hey y'all, welcome back to TCTN. I am so glad you are here because my lips are dry. <laughs> I did my base face. I was waiting for you guys to do my chapstick. Ugh. Ugh, that feels so good. So thank you for being here. Oh, I need more. Oh yeah, I was dry. Thank you for hydrating my lips with me. I appreciate you. <laughs> Today we're going to use the other four colors in the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette 10 that we did not use before. I think I'm yelling. The four that I did not use in the previous video was this blue, this purple, and these two shades here. So we're going to do that today. And I'm going to pair it with the Natasha Denona camel palette and I will most likely use probably this center shade as a transition shade. And so that's what we're going to do and I'm excited. I'm not sure I've ever really put blues and purples together so I'm a little nervous, I'm a little anxious. But the worst that can happen is, I don't know, it'll just look awful. Excuse my hair, I need a haircut so bad. I have like little pieces of hair just like sticking up everywhere. Anyway, what am I looking for? Eyeshadow primer, <laughs> the Fenty eyeshadow primer. So we're going to go first. I didn't even pull out brushes. I'm nervous. Like I am, <laughs> and it's only makeup. If it's horrible, just wash it off. I'm going to wash it off anyway when I'm done. But I am just kind of feeling anxious here. <laughs> and it's, I know it's ridiculous. It's only shadow. So I'm pulling out brushes. I'm trying to be quick. Oh Lord. So what are we going to do? <laughs> the Real Techniques Angled Shader Brush. We're going to take this blue. <laughs> And we're going to put that on <laughs> like the center of the lid. Let me back up. We're going to take a smaller brush. Do I want to take a larger one too? Yeah, because I have like four of those brushes. And we're going to take <laughs> this shade right here <laughs> for the inner corner, like the very, very inner corner. And the other one we're going to try to use as a brow bone highlight. I am like really nervous, y'all. <laughs> I really um I don't want to take it too far over because I really want for that blue for the lid color to take up most of the lid but I'm going to take it a little bit into the crease like I do my lid colors because I have puffy eyes puffy lids puffy crease skin area whatever you want to call it so we're going to put that there <laughs> I am really nervous. Like, I don't know, like, why? Why I'm feeling so nervous. I like how this is covering um, the discoloration on my lip because it is such a really pale color. So it's kind of almost white. It looks like it has an undertone of gold in it, but it is really, yeah, like a white color. And so I was concerned, but that showed up nice. So we're going to take another one and we're going to go into this blue. And we're actually going to put the blue all over the lid. I'm scared about that purple because I've never done that before. A blue and a purple. So we're just pressing this in. That's my happy movement. And if I was making a noise, it would be... <laughs> I'm going to go back with that first brush just to blend over that first shade. Um, I was trying to get it even. And I liked how this side was looking, but then this side I took the blue too far over. And so I'm just lightly just patting. I like this. I'm still a little scared. I need this side is looking like it's higher up in the crease than this side, so I'm gonna to try to even it out. And the part that I sped up, I did turn the brush this way to go down this way to make sure I got along my lash line. Because sometimes with larger brushes it is harder to get shadows closer to your lash line. Okay, now I'm, this is where I'm scared. <laughs> um, 
I'm going to take a small brush at first. I'm going to take the Isom V33. And we're going to dip into this purple. Very lightly to start with because I don't know what's going to happen. And I'm just going along the edge of that blue. It's looking like it wants to turn muddy on the outer corner over here, but I think, um, I don't know what I think. I'm thinking I should have did um, that tan transition shade first before I put this purple here. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm glad that I did it this way because the purpose of this video is to use the four shades in this palette that I didn't use before. And so as of right now, I only have one more color from in this palette to apply on my lids. Just trying to blend out that blue line without losing the blue. I'm going to dip into the purple again. I am liking it though, but I'm not liking that blue line. Which is why I'm going to circular motions because I'm trying to get rid of the blue line. But other than that, like I am digging it. I'm going to take that same color, same brush, and I'm going to bring that down like into the, like an outer V type motion. Because I think that'll help it not look like it's getting muddy. So it's connecting the corner with, um my lash line down to my lash line so it's sort of like a type motion without being precise like it would be if i use concealer to clean that up but i am liking it so i'm going to switch now to the scott Barnes number 62 brush and i'm going to go into that same shade but i'm going to take it on the side of the brush and i am turning the brush as i do so so that i can sweep oh wow um yeah that was a lot <laughs> So I can sweep the color <laughs> across my crease. <laughs> yeah, brushes do make a difference. <laughs> like, look. <laughs> wow. And so now that this laid, I'm just going to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, that got rid of that line. <laughs> so the type of brush you use and the type of motion you use does affect <laughs> how the shadow appears <laughs> wow I like that but that line is almost gone I'm still seeing a little bit of it on this end you might not be on your end I'm not sure and so I am liking that I know they say don't blow on your shadows I just had a brain fart type situation I'm going to take another small angled brush not the one I used for the other corner um, but it's the same I have more than one of them. So this is a clean one. I'm going to take this shade here, which is the final shade in this palette to use, and I'm gonna use that as a brow bone highlight, and I'm hoping it's not like super, super bright. Okay. I always put more on this side than this side. So then I gotta even it out. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, well, before I switch palettes, I'm going to take a brush like this one, and we're going to take that blue underneath my lower lash line. I'm going to connect the corner. And I'm going to take a different brush going to take this brush and I'm going to go into that inner corner shade this this one in a corner shade and I'm going to put that on the inner portion of my lower lash line oh, I like this so now we're going to switch to the camel palette and I'm going to take a clean brush what am I going to use the Scott Barnes brush 
and we're going to go into this middle shade here and just sweep that between the brow bone color and that purple transition color. I was going to say crease color, which is what it would be used for if I had a defined crease, but I don't, so I fake it. This is the finished look. I like it. What do you guys think? I want to put something on my lips, but the only thing I have that's open... Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Oh, should we do it? What color is this? I'm having trouble. I don't have my... Let me see. Take off my chapstick. This is Fenty's <laughs> Clap Back. I'm kind of scared because I don't have one of lip liner. I think I just purchased another one of these because they were on sale because I forgot that I had it. I love a dark lip. This is looking more forest greeny to me than blue. And I have said before, I have colored it. I have trouble, excuse me, distinguishing colors sometimes. So let me know what this looks like to you. I think it does look like a navy blue now that I'm looking at it. Now that, now that I am applying more. But initially it was looking kind of forest greeny. This is it. I was hoping it was going to look more blue like the lid. Oh, shoot. I forgot. Eyeliner. I'm going to speed through this. Black Mac. Black. Black tracks. <laughs> Mac Black Track Fluid Line. <laughs> In an angled eyeliner brush. It didn't make any difference. <laughs> Ocean Floor is the shade. This is the Hourglass Mechanical Gel Pencil. My eye is tearing a little bit, so we're going to take a Q-tip. Just put it right in that duct. Because we don't want to ruin the eye makeup that we just did. Fancy mascara. So here we are guys, the finished look. So we've used the last four colors in the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette 10 that we didn't use before. We used uh, this shade here on the inner corner on the upper lash line. <laughs> This on the lid, I'm laughing because this is my second time doing this because I had the colors all mixed up. And this is in the crease, and this we use as a brow bone highlight. And also the blue is underneath the lower lash line. And so this is the look. Let me know what you think. I am really digging it. And to blend out between the brow bone shade and the purple, I went into the Natasha Denona Camel Palette. And I use this shade right here just to tone that down and blend that in. Let me know what you think of this look. This blue lippy is uh, clap back from Fenty. Sorry for the glare. I have on black on the upper lash line. Ocean blue mechanical gel pencil from Hourglass on my upper and lower rims. And did I say Fenty mascara? And the Fenty brow MVP in soft black on my brows. And on my cheeks is the e.l.f. Putty Blush in Bali. And that's what this looks like. And everything else is my usual base face. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of this. I am really liking it. I've never done a blue and purple look that I remember. And so I'm really digging it. And so I'm glad I did it. And now I can actually say within two videos only. <laughs> I've used every shade in this palette and that's my goal when I get a new palette is to use every shade and I'm glad that I do that because then I get a good feel for it and if I like it or not and I really do and so from here whatever looks I do 
Um, I will just add them into this um, Natasha Den Denona playlist, excuse me. But we've used all the colors as of right now. So we'll just continue to play around with combinations and see what else that we come up with. And I am babbling because I am just really excited. I really like this palette. Anytime you're wanting Natasha Denona palettes, every now and then just go back and forth between the Sephora site and the Natasha Denona site to see if it's on sale. Because when they are on sale, they're not always on sale on both sites at the same time. So that's the way you can get Natasha Denona for a cheaper price than full price. And also without waiting for um, a rogue sale from Sephora. And so, you know, so I paid almost half off for this palette. And I'm excited and I'm glad that I purchased it. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about the look. And you will see me in the next video.